Copenhagen in 1957, a commercial airliner blazed a new skyway over the roof of the world to Tokyo. Airborne, the plane was soon following the rock-bound coast of Norway, north to the Arctic Circle. The reassuring throb of the engines contrasted sharply with the constant perils faced by the polar pioneers just a few years before. Ships frozen fast recalled how explorers tried and failed to sail to the pole. Now, modern-day airmen were spanning a new route over the same Arctic Ocean. Spinning erratically, the compass signaled that the airliner was over the North Pole, where every direction is south. Dotting the route was a network of radio stations guiding the plane that had been airborne 12 hours before it passed the snowy sentinels of the Brooks Range. Tucked inside the Arctic Circle, the mountain chain is the northernmost arm of the Rockies, a jagged barrier of rock and ice awakened from its slumber. Over Alaska, variations in temperature send the thermometer to 80 degrees below in winter and 100 above in summer. For mile after mile, the endless expanse unfurled a frozen and lifeless wasteland with glistening mountains that thrust icy pinnacles against the sky. Suddenly, a forest appeared below, growing out of the mountainside like quills out of the back of a porcupine. Moments later, the plane was over Anchorage, some 15 hours and 4,400 miles out of Copenhagen. A flight which, a few short years before, would have seemed impractical is today routine. A twice-a-week service now cuts more than 2,000 miles from the old Copenhagen-Tokyo route through the Middle East and Asia. After refueling and a change of crew, the plane was ready to leave Anchorage behind on the final leg of its trailblazing polar flight. From the weatherman's point of view, the Arctic has the best flying weather in the world. Like the desert, it is a region of generally light winds, low humidity, and little precipitation. The rugged Japanese coast passed below. Mount Fujiyama pointed the way to Tokyo. The sacred mountain of Japan marked the end of the epic polar flight. Copenhagen to Tokyo in 30 hours, another chapter in the conquest of the North Pole. A chapter made possible by Peary, Bird, Amundsen, all explorers whose daring combined to open the frozen, treacherous Arctic and bring forth this aviation milestone of the century.